Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. So this one is gonna be covering posterior Chapman's points due to popular request. So to be honest, when I went through preparing for the Comad and the Comlex and things like that, I actually didn't remember these. Like I didn't study them at all, I just kind of punted it. I went with anterior Chapman's points and viscerosomatics and that was kind of enough for me. However, if you're looking to really crush it, you wanna get every single point that you can, then this will be absolutely for you. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first step is that, of course, we're gonna wanna draw out our skeleton kind of chart here. So step one is this big, you wanna draw a big half circle, and then you're gonna wanna draw from there 16 horizontal lines below that. And then next, we wanna draw a little hash mark in the middle of each one of these lines. Finally, we're just going to want to number all of our levels. So now that we have all of our lines drawn out and all of our lines marked, what we can do next is go ahead and start drawing in the points. Now, for this specific chart that I kind of put together, some things may be left out. I just wanted to focus on kind of what the most important Chapman's points were. Of course, there's going to be some missing, and, and feel free to you know put in the comments if there's something else you'd like to, to add to it. But anyway, I'm going to mark it with a red pen here. And then what you're also going to see is that when you're setting this up, you should think there should be about 16 structures that you want to think about, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. This is going to represent our occiput, uh, the, the posterior side of it. And then you're going to start off, you're going to draw one dot here below it. Then you're going to go one level below and write on this little mark representing the spinous process. You're going to have another mark here. And then about halfway between the outside of the line, aka the transverse process and the spinous process here in the middle, you're going to draw an X here and an X here. Now, disclaimer, what you're going to see when I draw this is that a circle represents a singular point or a singular structure, whereas an X means it's the same thing, but it's just on both sides, right? That'll make more sense as I go further down and fill out this chart, okay? All right, well, let's get back to it. So the next step is we're gonna just go down one level. You're again gonna draw an X here and an X here, all right? Uh, next, we're gonna hop a couple spaces and we're gonna move to between T2 and T3. X here, X here, and then we're gonna do three in a row, right? And then on the left side here, we're gonna draw one circle in the middle, another one here, and then at the left side of T7, you're gonna draw another point here. And then you're gonna make a big circle covering both the T5, T6 space and the 6, 7 space. Okay. And then you're gonna hop down one and then you're gonna draw another point here. Next, T10. Here and here. Between 11 and 12, a dot. Finally, we're gonna to move to the space between 12 and L one, and you're gonna have an X here, X here, and then L2, X here, X here. Okay, so at this point we have all of our points filled out. Now we just need to assign different names to them. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're starting from the top. This is gonna represent the eye. This dot in the middle, it's gonna represent the middle ear. These X's represent the tonsils. And again, as I said, when it's an X, it represents the same structure, just symmetrical, right? So X here, it's a tonsil on the right side and then also a tonsil on the left side, okay? All right, now moving down to C2, this is gonna be your sinus, larynx, and pharynx. All right, now we have a pretty big gap in between T2, T3. Uh, this represents the heart. Go down one space, this is gonna be the upper lung. One more down is the lower lung. The two dots here, this one is stomach acid. One below that is peristalsis. All right. And then right here on T7, this is going to be the spleen. All right. And you'll see it as we go through this, there's a lot of similarities to the format of other sociomatics and Chapman's points and things like that. Okay. Well, this big one here, this big blob, this is both the liver and the gallbladder. This here is the pancreas, one below that. T10, this is the gonads on both sides. Um, 11, 12, I bet you can guess what that is. If you don't know, I'll tell you, but it's the appendix. 
and then between 12 and L1, this is gonna be your kidneys, and then the last one here is the bladder. All right. So yeah, that basically kind of sums up the whole chart there. I know that there may be some structures that are missing, but again, these are gonna be kind of the most important ones that you're gonna to wanna to remember and write down and to, to get, again, some of those points for posterior Chapman's points. So leave a comment, uh, like, subscribe, and let me know if you guys would want anything else. Thanks, hope this was helpful. I'll see you next time.